Hey love, my house is in need of a total reset. There are so many messes. We need to do the dishes, we need to do the laundry, we need to do some cleaning. So get it all done with me today and be sure to subscribe if you like this video and let's get started. A great way to kick off any cleaning project is to get your favorite scents going. And today I'm using this cute candle from Tuscany in the scent Phantom White Pumpkin, which smells like cinnamon and vanilla. There is seriously no better feeling than doing a full home reset where you can feel more comfortable and at peace in your own home. And I love the feeling of having fresh bed sheets. So let's head up to the bedrooms and strip off all the bedding and let's get this cleaning party started. And I noticed that my laundry was practically overflowing. So if you're looking for laundry motivation, you came to the right place. But I hope that this video does give you the encouragement to clean whatever messes you have around your house. Life is messy and it's something that we all got to do, but it's way more fun when you clean up together. So just thank you so much for watching and cleaning with me today. The next part of my weekly reset is I like to figure out what I need to get at the grocery store each week. So I'm going to do a good clean out of the fridge, get rid of any expired products and take inventory of what I need to get at the store. And I like to clean out the fridge the day before a grocery trip, just because it makes it much easier to get in there and wipe everything down. And this is also about the time where I gave up on the long hair struggle. <laughs> Now I'm going to head over to the pantry and do the exact same thing, toss out anything that's expired, mainly do a straightening of the stuff that was shuffled around from where my kiddo goes in and grab snacks and assess what I need to get at the grocery store. Now that we got all that yucky trash taken out, it's already time to head back to the laundry room to switch it out so that we can keep this laundry train going. Now that we have the laundry switched out, it's time to head back to the kitchen where I have a drawer that I keep all of my kiddos' school papers in. And I like to go through it at least once a week just to catch up on what he's learning, keep anything that's sentimental, and toss out anything that we don't need anymore. Okay, so we're gonna be making a Halloween style buffalo chicken dip. And I absolutely love this recipe because you can just throw everything in the crock pot and just kind of let it cook itself. But the first thing you're gonna need is some shredded chicken. I do recommend to pick up um, the shredded chicken that you can buy at the store, but they were out of it. So I just went ahead and I bought three pounds of chicken and I baked it and shredded it myself. But to make it a little bit easier, I do recommend just to get the shredded chicken that you can buy at the store. Um, then you're going to need two blocks of cream cheese, a cup and a half of the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, and then two cups of the ranch. You can use blue cheese, but I'm going to use ranch for this. And you just throw it all in the crock pot, cook it really until it's warm, give it a good mix around, and then it's ready to go. Then also I thought it would be cute to make my own little tortilla chips. And all I'm going to do is just use these little flour tortillas. And then to make your own tortilla chips, it's super easy. I'm just going to use these cookie cutters to cut them out, lightly salt them, uh, spray a little bit of olive oil on top, and then bake it at 375 for about five to seven minutes. And then you have your own spooky tortilla chips. I thought that this recipe would be great for this time of year just because of how easy it is, um, especially if you're doing like a Halloween party 
or if you're just having a day in and you want to make something spooky for your family, this would be a great recipe to do it. Also, I'll show you a little Halloween hack on how to make this a little bit more spookier, um, probably when this is all finished. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this. The next part of this reset, I'm going to grab my rubber gloves and bleach and give the downstairs bathroom, the kiddos bathroom, and the master bathroom a really good clean. And normally I use all natural cleaners, but I heard that the bathrooms in the kitchen sink are the top two places that bacteria and germs like to hang out. So I like to use bleach in those areas just to make sure that they are extra clean. Now let's head back to the kitchen to tackle those dishes in the sink. I know for me, this can feel never ending sometimes, but let's get up and get those dishes done today. You've got this. And the kitchen needed a really good wipe down, so I'm going to clean the kitchen countertops and the kitchen appliances so that they will be sparkling clean for the week ahead.
Now that we have everything wiped down, it's time to vacuum and mop all the floors. And I absolutely love my steam mop, but when I clean, I also like for it to smell good too. And the steam mop just doesn't give off any scent since it's just water. So I like to add some essential oil to the water. And my favorite scent to use for this is lemon because it makes the kitchen and bathrooms smell so fresh and clean. And now it's finally time to do the last laundry changeover. It feels so much better now that I've tackled that mountain of laundry that I had. The laundry can accumulate so quickly, so it feels so good to finally be caught back up. The sheets were finished being washed, so I'm going to put them on the bed and make the bed. There is truly no better feeling than going to sleep on some fresh sheets. And to top it off, I like to use a room and linen spray to make the bed smell extra good. And the spray I'm using is by Fusion in the scent Warm Welcome. Now that we have fresh bed sheets on, I'm going to tidy my kiddo's room. And since it is one of his responsibilities, I do have him tidy up first. And he does such an amazing job at cleaning up his room. Um, but then I will go in after and straighten up a bit because I can be a little bit particular. Keep coming. You're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different. When I got my things in place, stuck in this commotion. How come I pass this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help. But if I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never. Okay, guys, I just pulled the buffalo chicken dip out of the crock pot. Obviously, it would be totally fine. Just keep it in the crock pot if you're hosting a party, just to keep it warm. But I wanted to put it in this cute little bowl that I got from Walmart. I picked it up for like six bucks. So this would be perfect to make it just a little extra spooky. 
But let me show you a quick Halloween hack that you can do to make it just a little extra spooky and cute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sour cream and I am going to try at least to make a spider web. Um, hopefully this turns out a lot better than my pancake spider web that I made, but we'll see. Oh my God, guys, I am dying right now. <laughs> It's just gonna be my thing where I mess up spider webs. I don't even know how to fix this. I honestly feel like I am a first grader trying to explain to my art teacher what I drew. So this is supposed to be a spider web. <laughs> In theory, it's supposed to be really, really cute. I'm sure that somebody else out there can do a much better job than this. Um, but I do think that this would be a really, really cute idea for a Halloween party or maybe just like a movie night in with your family. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's really, really cute in theory. I just could not execute it today. So can you even get a chip up? <laughs> Mm. It may look crappy, but it tastes delicious. Mm. Again, let me know in the comments below if you end up trying this recipe. And while you're at it, let me know how you draw a spider web because I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right, but we're the same. Even though I changed Really made an effort, promised I would change But something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great But something stayed the same all right we are ending with folding the last bit of laundry thank you so much for watching today's video and for being here i really hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you are new and share this video with a friend that it could help and enjoy your new clean house you've done so much cleaning with me today thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye love